welcome to another Journalist Toolbox AI quick study. My name is Mike Riley, the founder of Journalist Toolbox AI. Uh, today we're going to work with Scholar AI. Um, it's a ChatGPT plugin uh, that works with uh, ChatGPT Plus, uh, the 4 version. Um, at the time we're recording this, it's ChatGPT 4. It might be uh, uh, something a little more current right now uh, as you're watching this. Uh, but the concept's still the same. You need uh, to do the paid version of ChatGPT plus $20 a month in order to access the plugins. Um, and that may change in the future, but for now, uh, it's going to cost you $20 a month. Uh, Scholar AI is a great tool. Uh, it uh, summarizes uh, scholarly research on various topics. You can tell it to pull. And then you can jump in and uh, analyze that data. Uh, it has links to citations, which is great for fact checking the data it pulls. And you can also uh, uh, analyze it and uh, summarize it then into things like uh, Twitter threads. Uh, and it'll actually write the Twitter threads for you, um, which is really great. Um, so this handout uh, will walk you through the exercise as well as this video. So if you want to hit pause and open up the exercise, it's this bit.ly link bit.ly slash scholar AI exercise. So go ahead and hit pause and we'll get started in just a minute. All right, welcome back. Uh, you should have the scholar AI exercise uh, open. Uh, the intro here just kind of goes over the basics and you know how to uh, get scholar AI uh, set up uh, on your uh, uh, chat GPT, which we'll walk you through here in a minute. And down at the bottom here, uh, it gives you a couple of prompts you can work with. Now you can edit these, uh, you know, to any topic you want. Uh, but you know, the intro is the same. Use Scholar AI to summarize, research on, and then enter your topic there. Um, after that, I'm going to have it do a, a separate uh, prompt uh, and have it uh, write a Twitter thread uh, and give me five viral hooks and hashtags um, off of uh, the research that I've conducted. So let's jump into Chat GPT Plus here. Um, uh, to set up uh, your uh, uh, plugins, uh, you go down here to the lower left corner, uh, these three little dots down here, and uh, you can go in to settings, and it will give you under beta features uh, plugins, and you just have to turn this on so it's green uh, and allows you to uh, in install plugins into your Chat GPT 4. Once that's done, you can click on the GPT-4 tab here at the top to activate it. They won't work in 3.5, uh, but GPT-4, they will. And go to the plugins menu here, and it'll always activate three of them uh, to start with. Um, and that's what will show up here. And then you can look at this pull down menu and list all of my little plugins here that uh, I've got installed. Uh, go to the plugin store uh, to search for them. In this case, you'll have to search for Scholar AI. Uh, and it'll show up in here and you'll be able to install it. Um, it's got lists of them you know, based on ones that you've got installed. It lists uh, those that are new. Uh, so I can go to the new area here and if I see one I want to install, I can just click on it. Uh, there's a new one called Scholarly Insight, um, you know, probably a competitor to Scholar AI. Um, and you know, this one, Scholar AI, I just search for it and I installed it here. Search is more than 40 million peer-reviewed papers. Uh, that's a lot of research. Um, it'll uh, look through PDFs as well. Um, once you have it installed, I usually put mine out here. I usually check it to make sure uh, it appears out here, which it does. Uh, and then I can go to my prompts. Uh, I've got it all set up, and which is nice, you know, because you only have to do that once. Uh, and then I'll plug this uh, prompt in here. Notice it's very simple. I'm just looking for. Uh, research on muscle growth in athletes that mentions gymnasts. So I, I kind of narrowed it uh, just a little bit. And I'll drop that into the prompt down here. I always put in the prompts, use this uh, uh, tool or use this uh, plugin. Um, you don't have to. Usually it'll go and find it itself uh, and use it. And this how you, is how you know it found the right prompt or, or the right uh, uh, plugin. And uh, you just kind of let it sit there and do its work. Um, while it's doing that and it's starting to print out, I'll copy my second uh, prompt here just so I have it handy. Um, and I just kind of let it print out all of its research here. And it'll take a minute here. You'll just see it play out. The thing I like about this is it links off to the article itself. Um, it gives a citation date uh, and the author's name. 
Um, and that gives you a little summary here, you know, which you can take and edit, and you don't even have to use it at all. You can always go back into the uh, full text, uh, which is linked down here and up here. So it's uh, cited, cited twice, which is really great. And it's starting to pull, the, you know, these articles here, and uh, you know, you can go through and search them. Then, and, you know, if you want to search for the word gymnast or gymnastics, uh, sometimes you'll even see it in, in the headlines. There's a couple of them here. The body comp uh, one example under number three. Um, so it's doing its work here, and it's just uh, you know pulling the research, and uh, you'll see the citations pop up, and you know it's doing you know pretty nice job of this. It's great for saving time. Uh, you know that's really what you want with a good uh, AI tool or a good Chat GPT plugin. Something that'll save you time. Going out and do a, doing a Google search of this could take forever. Um, I mean, you could, um, or if you want to dig a little deeper, you know, you can pull, uh, you know, some of the keywords or even the author names out of this and, and vet it a little bit by searching in Google. Um, notice notice it, it gives you uh, some of the other articles down here at the bottom. Ask you if you want to uh, dive a little deeper into any of these papers or search for more. Lists a few others there, which is nice. Gives you some, you know, kind of alternate prompts that you can use. Uh, but now that I've got my research here, you know, I would go through and vet it. I'd read these articles in the interest of time. I'm not going to do that, but you can click on these and it'll take you off to the article itself. Down here under uh, your little message prompt down here, you can put in your second prompt, which is now write a Twitter thread and give me five viral hooks and hashtags. I've had mixed results with this. I've had some, uh, some pretty good tweets uh, written, uh, you know, with this tool and with others. Um, they tend to drop a lot of emojis in on me. I'm not a big emoji person, uh, especially uh, not with uh, news uh, threads like this. You know, it's a very serious topic. Uh, it is very good, though, at pulling some hashtags and, and giving me some viral hooks with it. Um, so you can see there, it just drops them right underneath, drops the hashtags right into the post, you know, bone health, gymnastics. Uh, it gives you a few others, resistance training, and, and it, uh, they correlate very, very well uh, to the research itself. Uh, you can always go in and, and drop the uh, links into the threads then. That's one thing it doesn't do. Um, but if I wanted to, uh, you know, drop some of the articles into uh, the threads, you know, as I cut and paste these into Twitter, I could do so. Um, and, you know, it does a really nice job. It usually writes around, you know, anywhere from seven to ten uh, uh, threads. And, uh, you know, you've got a nice little uh, uh, series of Twitter threads written that you can take and add it. You know, I would add it all of these, you know, make them a little tighter. I would cut out things like the exclamation points and things like that, you know, uh, remove that, the emojis I would take out. But, uh, you know, there's some, some pretty quality uh, work, work here. Um, and then, uh, you know, it gives you a couple other options down here uh, as well. So that's Scholar uh, AI. It's a good little uh, chat GPT plugin uh, if you're pulling scholarly research, if you're doing a deep dive on a specific topic.